Hello, and welcome to the Atlanta Opera Podcast. I'm Thomas Volun, General and Artistic Director of the Atlanta Opera and the Production Director of La Boheme. Here are five things you need to know about Puccini's opera. Number one, La Boheme and cinema. Boheme is the most cinematic opera in the repertoire. Puccini wrote it in 1896, which was an incredibly innovative time period for the arts, with the birth of cinema happening around the same time that he wrote La Boheme. As a film fanatic, I'm always struck by how cinematic Puccini's music is. His opera is so dramatic and full of emotion in a way that truly is reminiscent of the great films from Hollywood's golden age. What's incredible is that Puccini created his most famous operas, like La Boheme, half a century before that golden age of Hollywood, yet his work feels as cinematic as films from the 1940s. Two, La Boheme is responsible for countless adaptations. This opera has inspired so many adaptations of famous movies and musicals. From Moonstruck, where Nicolas Cage and Cher are going to see La Boheme at the Metropolitan Opera, to the musicals Moulin Rouge and Jonathan Larson's famous Broadway hit Rent, among many, many others. Three. Bohème is arguably the most popular opera ever written. Ever since its 1896 premiere, opera companies all over the world produce it every year. Why? There are all sorts of theories, but here is mine. To me, the most important reason for this opera's staggering popularity is the direct connection that it instantly makes with each and every member of the audience. Or as Spade Jenkins used to say, It is an opera for those who are in love or those who, having grown old, remember what it is like to be in love, which means that it is an opera for almost everyone. Number four, the book. La Boheme is based on a book called Scenes of Bohemian Life by Henry Morger, somewhat of a mediocre book. But the author initially shared his stories in a literary magazine in 1845, and they were collected in a book that was published a few years later. These are loosely related stories, all set in the Latin Quarter of Paris in the 1840s. Most of those stories are semi-autobiographical, of people that Mourger knew from his life in Paris. Puccini took this somewhat okay book and made it the incredible masterpiece that La Boheme is. Mouger, the author of the book, just like his tragic heroine, Mimi, died very young and never saw the success of Puccini's opera. He was only 38 upon his death. Five, the music. The most important part of any Boheme is the music. And Puccini was a master of composing brilliant, lush melodies and manipulating them and us, his audience, in the most subtle way. It often seems to me that Puccini's pen had a direct access to the audience's tear glands. The melodies overflow with emotion. However, they're never over-sentimental. He always writes with sincere honesty and the deepest human perception. The opera has been an incredible vehicle for the greatest voices in history. Luciano Pavarotti, Mirella Freni, Kiri Tekanawa, and Placido Domingo are some of those singers. And one of my personal favorite tenors, Gianluca Terranova, who sang it here in Atlanta only a few years ago. For this production, we have assembled some of the leading young singers of our time. The rising tenor, Long Long as Rudolfo making his American debut, Madison Leonard as Musetta, and last but not least, the luminous soprano Gabriela Reyes as Mimi. We can't wait for you to hear these voices.
Thank you for joining me on the Atlanta Opera Podcast. If you enjoyed learning more about La Boheme, please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts. It's a great way for more people like you to find out about our content. And don't forget to follow the Atlanta Opera Podcast for more great episodes. See you at the Opera.